Diving into action. Taka Suzuki is preparing to take on the world. He has already tasted the glory of Paralympic gold, topping the podium at Beijing in 2008. Many friends and family came to watch my races, so and the atmosphere was fantastic for me. I was relieved uh, because uh, the time was a bit slower than heat, but I still won the gold. And then everyone's like, everyone was delighted. Taka has had a life of overcoming obstacles. Born with limb deficiencies, he's been swimming for Japan since he was a teenager. Unhappy with his performance at the London Games, he decided a change of scenery was in order. I wanted to change my swimming environment because I wasn't very good at English, so my Japanese coach and looked for great coach in the UK. Almost everything is different. I was in a slump then, so I wanted to change like everything. This move though wasn't without challenges for Taka or his coach. Initially we had a language barrier, so we came here about six years ago now, couldn't speak any English. So initially we communicated with a lot of sign language and I would write things up on the board and he just sort of had to guess what it meant. Communication not so much of a barrier now, but he's just a, uh, an exciting athlete to work with. But swimming isn't the only thing that's been on Taka's agenda. He's studying for a master's, hopes to do a PhD and spends serious time in the gym. He's also mastering the local dialect. I've learned, yeah, Jody accent as well. So, and then my friend said like, my speaking sometimes hard, like, yeah, Jody accent as well. No. So. Can you say anything in, in Jordi? Well, I, Kani, Kushti, I'm Ganyan. Taka's move has brought him success. These are medals he won this year at a tournament where he also set a new world record. So to me, an athlete is an athlete is an athlete. Taka is obviously going to go to a home Paralympics, which is going to be a special thing for him to get up in front of his home crowd, his friends and family. So for me, my pride always comes from how it feels for the athlete. So just the same as any GB athlete, I'll be cheering him on and hoping he does the best that he can. Taka can't wait to swim in front of his home crowd. London 2012, and uh, the atmosphere was really, really good. I expected like Tokyo would be there for me. The games are less than a year away and Tak is putting in the lengths in the northeast in the hope of glory in the far east. Duncan Bick, ITV News.